Hello, citizens. This is Nikki Batgirl D'Angelo with a special report from Star Citizen AA News. This is May 15th, 2014. I'm having a drink right now because I was kind of a little bit worried about um, something that was mentioned on Wingman's Hangar yesterday. Eric announced the closing down of Wingman's Hangar coming up in the next three episodes. And Eric has done a amazing job along with Rob and Mar Mark Skelton and Mike Moram and uh, I, I just can't think of a Wednesday morning and you know I used to not be able to think about a Friday morning without Wingman's Hangar but that's soon coming to an end and I sent off an email to Eric last night and I said would you like to do an interview with me and then something hit me that the hierarchy of CIG is changing just a little bit. It's not becoming more corporate. It's becoming more, um, people are doing the jobs that they were hired for. So when I thought again about this, I decided that I was going to send that email off to Ben. And Ben, he accepted my invitation to do an interview, which you're going to see right after this. So I'm going to go into what's going on. All right. Um, Eric has since announced that the reason why Wingman's Hangar is shutting down is because he really is the president of that Austin design studio, right? His job is to make the different elements of the game that he's in charge of, right? Not to do a weekly show. And although we love the show that Eric brings to us, we have to remember the real reason why he's here. And what do we really want his focus to be? Do we want it to be making us laugh on camera once a week? Or do we want it to be running the Austin studio and making the best damn space simulator ever? I guess this Cosmo is not my first. Otherwise, I'd be able to get through these words. My first one was actually a few hours ago on air with Ben as we shot the interview that you're going to see after this. But I kind of was able to figure out things beforehand. Before I read Eric's um, email that um, Sh Renegade Shank put into the Star Citizen A thread in the subscriber den, I understand what's going on, okay? And I think that all of you do also. The, you know, when, when Wingman's Hangar started, everything was in concept. So there wasn't a lot of things that needed to be done, okay? And we had some wonderful shows. We got to hear a lot of the theory behind the game, and we got a lot of answers to questions that also were theorized because the game wasn't actually in production at the time. Well, not full production. As the end of the year neared, and um, Ben picked up and moved um, in early March, I think it was, from Austin to Santa Monica, things started to change, right? We had a different format on the show. It became a little bit more stringent, more corporate, and you know, a lot of us got a little bit upset. Um, the community involvement with it seemed to all of a sudden evaporate. That wasn't Eric's fault, and that wasn't anyone else's fault. The big piece of that was that the person in charge of the community was all of a sudden not in Austin, but a few thousand miles away over in Santa Monica. So Eric and uh, Michael Moreland were, and Rob Irvin were doing the show every week and also trying to do all the other things that they were responsible for in the Austin studio without Ben, who is the community manager, there to take care of it. So little by little, we saw a little bit more changes. We saw the inclusion of Ten for the Chairman, first inside of Wingman's Hangar and then on its own on Friday evenings. I mean, I'm sorry, on Monday evenings. And then we saw the inclusion of the next great Starship contest video on Fridays. So we started to get a hint that they were dedicated to the involvement in the community, but they just were doing a lot, way too much for it at the time. So the way that they're working through this right now, and you're going to see in the interview with Ben, is to consolidate things under Ben's group. So you have Ben, Lesnick, James Pugh, and you have Will, right? So you have those three, and plus more people that they're going to bring on, and others that I'm not rudely forgetting, but I'm just forgetting because of the inclusion of this pink drink I'm drinking right now. 
So Ben and I went over things, and I'm making sure my microphone is on. There's a boom mic up over here. This is kind of an on the whim. I wanted to be in the studio to do this. So Ben sat down with me. He was amazing, and he did maybe a six to ten minute video. I can't remember how long it was. And we talked about these things. And you're going to see that in just a few minutes on the screen right here. Actually, you know what? Let's see that video right now. Ben, thank you so much for joining me today. Hey, well, I appreciate you having me on to talk about this. Yeah, well, it's well, my pleasure. I love talking to you, you guys, which is why I keep on hitting up everyone there for interviews. And that girl back there in that room, after I talk to James next week, I'm going to talk to Chelsea, too. Ah, awesome. Yeah, and then I'm going to get to Alexis. Um, so I, every, everybody is kind of shocked right now that Wingman's Hangar is coming to an end, and Eric got an opportunity to give his take on it. And he, he kind of put you out there as being an integral part of Wingman's Hangar when you were there. Could you explain to us a little bit about what type of things you did in Wingman's Hangar when you were in Austin? Well, first, I should say that there could be no Wingman's Hangar without Eric Peterson, Michael Moreland, uh, the whole team there. They're an incredible group of people. Yes. Um, yeah, I, I was part of the creative staff in Wingman's Hangar. I, uh, basically, we would get together at the start of the week, back when it was on Fridays. Uh, we would plan out the show. We would come up with you know, all the dumb jokes you know and love. Uh, and uh, I mean, I, I guess compared to like a regular TV show, I would have been one of the writers. Uh, okay. So. Uh, so I mean I, I know that you do the you you do the MVP each week. Um, mm -hmm. Did you have any in any way? Did you take part in selecting questions, or is that always Rob's job? Oh nope, that's actually me. Um, okay. And it has been uh, James the last couple of weeks. Uh, okay. We uh, I pick out the questions from the community stuff. I send them on to Rob. Rob uh, vets them with Chris Roberts, and uh, then they go on the show. Okay. Well, I I, I mean I I'm. I can't talk about any of my personal life anymore in here, so I can't go into what things I know in the business. But I understand that your role as community manager, something like this should be under your department because it is the way that um, Cloud Imperium Games yeah. is presenting their image to the community. Is that partially correct? It, it is. I mean, absolutely it should be. But the fact is Eric is just so damn good at it that we wanted to keep him doing it as long as possible. I know it, it definitely... As the studio gets bigger and his responsibility gets bigger, it's been harder and harder for him. Right. Uh, but he, he's just so charismatic. We, it's, it's a void that it's going to be tough to fill. So can you give us a little bit of information about what's going to be replacing Wingman's Hangar? Uh, well, uh, two things, basically. We, uh, we have a community show. It's going to be on Wednesdays, uh, patterned very much after Wingman's Hangar. But... Uh, kind of with the charge that we need to cover all three offices, uh, especially Santa Monica, which, as I've seen in these threads over this weekend, people do not understand. They, they think this is marketing and PR out here. <laughs> it's not at all. This is an active development team with programmers working 20-hour days. Uh, this is the, the tip of the spear in terms of development of Star Citizen. Um, and, I mean, we have one marketing person here. This is Sandy. There's, there's one uh, PR person in Austin, David Swafford. Uh, this is not the... Uh, Let's see PR office that I think a lot of people on the uh, chatter believe. Yeah. I, could uh, I could attest to that. And I dropped the ball by not shooting video when I visited there. It's definitely not. If anything, we are, uh, we are a lot more like Austin was last year. This is a crowded yeah. little office with too many people in it at the moment. Uh, Does that mean you're moving? Uh, we are expanding the office very soon. I think they... People who were there, they, they did the Ouya console or something. They're moving out. Right. We're going to move over there, and in the future, we, we're going to look for a bigger space, uh, okay. hopefully. All right, so we're going to have this Wednesday show, and we, we, we just made it known that Eric is this charismatic person. Mm -hmm. Are we going to see Eric on the show occasionally? Yes, yes. He'll be responsible for everything from Austin, uh, as his schedule allows, basically. We, okay. we want him to be... Doing Wingman's Hangar inside this show from Austin uh, whenever production allows. Okay, so what's going to happen with forum feedback? Uh, still up in the air. I mean, I'm sure we will be answering questions, I and mean, we'd like to do more community videos. I know some people hate them, but they, uh, they get you in touch with the community. It's going to be a much more community-oriented show. We're breaking out, I should have mentioned this earlier, we're, we're breaking out the, uh, the inside CIG piece 
those will air on Fridays, you know, the serious look at development, glossy thing that Wing Wing would introduce on the show. Yeah. Those will be separate from the community show. We, you know, we'll be a little bit more lighthearted, uh, freestyle. Uh, but we have a great team here that will be doing the Wednesday show. You know, we've got William, we've got Chelsea, we've got Alexis, uh, all these community people you are coming to know. Uh, none of us are wingman, but uh, we will definitely try. All right. So will there be an opening for me to do a spot each week, or do I have to put my stuff into everybody else's? No. <laughs> no, you never know. <laughs> never know. I, I mean, I don't have much more for you um, other than that. Um, I guess... That's why you've expanded your staff over the last few months. You've gotten James and you've gotten Will. And do we expect to see more people coming under your staff? Or Oh, yeah. Um, in fact, we're hiring in, uh, in the U.K. right now for community staff. Um, and I'm working very closely with, with CS, uh, basically the folks who aren't developers here, just to build something a little more permanent than just me writing everything for the website. Yeah. Uh, and th- that was the charge when I moved out here. Chris wanted me to take build a bigger department basically yeah i don't think people realize how much you do when i was talking to david last uh just a couple of days ago i just put that video up yesterday or the day before he explained how you have to wait until the last week to actually write the articles that you do for jump point each month and so i don't have to but i end up that way well we're we're, we're trying to give you credit here i'm not trying to throw you under the bus (laughs) no no that's kind of your traditional writer thing i I do it at the last minute all right and sometimes he is actually throwing them back to you and said no we don't need that we need this this week Um, yes so i i'm i mean i i've never talked to mark and i guess i have to at some part but i i love mark's little you know hazy thoughts and um i've loved like the uh when Eric did this week in space, you know, are those things that we could hope to see make a return in a community oriented show? Or is this going to be more of a corporate? I, I know you better than to think that. It's not going to be a corporate yeah, show. We, we do want to have all that stuff. We want you to get to know the people here in LA and in Manchester as yeah. well. So I mean, you're going to have like writer's corner with David Haddock. I haven't actually asked him about that yet, but that's the hope. Um, you know, get to know David Havens, the yeah. folks here in the office. Uh, it's a really good group of people who I think uh, people will come to like a lot. Okay. Um, and that's all I got for you, Ben. Thank you so much. And I'm sure I'll be talking to you a lot like this or to James or to Will, whoever will talk to me at the time. But I absolutely. really appreciate we, it. We, there, we will absolutely be having you on the new show. So. Okay. Thank you very much. Sure thing. All right. All right. And now, now you've seen the video. And I thank Ben and CIG and... Everybody there in Santa Monica, in Austin, in Manchester, and all the other groups around the world that are working on on this wonderful game that we're going to get sooner or later. So just reading between the lines, right, the Wingman's Hangar is going to go out with a big bang, right? Three episodes, three weeks, we're going to get, and they didn't tell me this, I don't have any future knowledge of this, but in three weeks, let's expect to be getting the dogfighting module. At that point... It's, I I don't want to say this word, but it's balls to the wall, right? So they are going to be going all out. They're going to have a dogfighting module, which just like the hangar module, is going to have issues. There are going to be client-side issues. There are going to be server-side issues, and they're going to be needed to work through. There's going to be the social module. There's going to be the first-person shooter module. There's going to be player module, the uh, player module, sorry. There's going to be the planet-side module. There's going to be... Of course, you know, after my last interview with David Letterman and Ladyman, there is going to be the economy. They are, are going to be hugely involved with making this game work and getting it out to us. So in the interview we just watched with Ben, right, Ben explained to us that it's going to come under his group. This is why Ben was hired. This is what he does. He's not just a writer, not just a game designer, but he's a community manager. So he's hiring the people that make sense to do this, and we're going to get a show that's going to include us again. It's going to include the community, and it's going to be fun again, and we're still going to have Eric, and we're still going to have the questions that we get to ask in in forum feedback. So I hope y'all didn't get too overly concerned with Wingman's Hangar going away. I will miss it. Eric, thank you. And I toast you. And that's why I'm holding my drink. And I've waited till now. Thank you so much for doing an exceptional job on Wingman's Hangar. 
And I hope that the game shows how much you're dedicated to it, you know, your effort, you know. I, I hope the end game shows how dedicated you were to it. And thank you so much. That's all I could say. I'm going to say thank you, thank you, thank you. And now that you are not going to be doing Wingman's Hangar Weekly, I hope that this game gets done quicker. Please. That's all, folks. Thank you all for watching. Be safe out there, and I'll see you soon. Bye.